This video tribute takes us back to two key highlights in the stellar career of broadcaster Margaret Robert Steele. We start with the most recent, the 2019 investiture ceremony for the Queen's Birthday Honours. Investiture of Member of the Civil Division of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, MBE, Miss Margaret Robert Steele. <laughs> Mrs. Margaret Robert Steele is a career broadcaster whose work spans decades on major events in history. She joined the Windward Island Broadcasting Service in 1956 as an announcer and is trained as a Caribbean broadcaster, having attended courses in England with the BBC. She is experienced in radio productions, musical features, news reports, and as a commentator. Mrs. Margaret Robert Steele has always had a fond relationship with St. Lucia, having been born in Grenada. And in 1996, she took over the management of the substation. She has worked freelance for Radio Caribbean and SLTV. She married in 1969 and settled in St. Lucia and was appointed to work with Radio St. Lucia in 1975. And eventually, she became senior program organizer at the station. Viewpoint, a brief question and answer feature on some topic of local or regional interest. Hear the public's views on a social, educational, political, or cultural topic every week. This is Viewpoint. With her background in broadcasting, Mrs. Steele was often called on to conduct training for young broadcasters and was instrumental in training Radio St. Lucia and Government Information Service staff in 1995 and 1999. Her familiar voice became synonymous with the 6 o'clock news broadcast heard every day across the nation. For committed service in the area of broadcasting, Miss Margaret Robert Steele is being awarded the member of the British Empire Medal. icons were celebrated that day, Rick Wayne for journalism, sports and entertainment, and Margaret Robert Steele for broadcasting. This is the mass site at Braidway Park, the site where His Holiness Pope John Paul II will celebrate mass this evening. And this is probably the arrival of His Holiness because you can hear the shouts of the people in the background and there is the Pope Mobile. And what a happy moment and an exciting moment for all Catholics in this little island of ours, St. Lucia. With me is Mike Orbiton, who is the youth coordinator for the Archdiocese and he will be sharing this broadcast with me. There we have the motorcycle outriders escorting the Right Honourable Prime Minister, John G. M. Compton and Mrs. Compton. Her many years of training, her vast experience with live broadcast and her soothing presentation made the coverage of the papal visit a masterclass in outside broadcasts listening to a 700-strong choir. 
The choir is augmented by voices from the Uonora Voices, St. Mary's College, St. Joseph's Convent, and the Girls' Vocational School, and conducted by Sister Claire of the St. Joseph's Convent. Hope Mobile still moving through the waving crowd. Strong Slavic face. No different from you've seen him so many times, Mike. Yes, the crowd is now cheering vociferously, cheering the pontiff who has been awaited for so long. Saint Lucia, let our first thoughts be thoughts of praise and thanksgiving to the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear young people, and all of you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I encourage you in these words of the letter to the Hebrews, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Thank you very much. God bless you. And so the Holy Communion which we've just witnessed has come to an end. And the Holy Mass conducted by His Holiness John Paul II. This has been such a tremendous spiritual experience for all gathered here today. With me is Mike Orbiton, who will share this broadcast and particularly the service with you. We've been very privileged indeed to be part of it. And Mike, as we prepare to say goodbye to our viewers, any comments? Yes, Margaret, I just want to say that it has been a tremendous experience for me being here, being part of the broadcast, and hearing the words of His Holiness really take root within me as a Catholic. It is, it is a real tremendous experience of faith and I want to say that I'm especially privileged to have been here with you. I agree with you. Before we go, I must thank the Broadcast Equipment Rental Company of Burbank, California, who have done such a tremendous job here. We'd like you to know that the management and staff of HDS appreciate your being here in St. Lucia today. And so we say goodbye to all of you, and in the words of His Holiness, we wish you all a new heart of peace.